So this is the episode, I don't know, I've lost count now. <laughs> it's another DB raid episode. But this is one of um, my um, awesome mirror matchups. So I'm actually against Mech Knight, um, a Mech Knight Orcus. Now it's funny because when I originally initially was a <coughs> was on choosing a deck to play, I did briefly consider Mech Knight Orcus, but the problem I had with it really is just the reliance on columns and not being able to really go first consistently. Um, both of those made it really, really unappealing to me. Like it just made me really not want to play that deck. And so as such, that's why I went with Eldritch Orcus because I felt like it can go, it can go first by itself. It doesn't need columns and stuff. And I'm not playing a bunch. Well, I am playing bricks, but I'm playing less, less bricks than I am in in the Mech Knight engine, which is quite nice. But um, yeah, he tears through my board pretty easily. One of the frustrating things about Mech Knights, obviously, is those columns. Um, he, he can get through my board really easily. But my plan here really is, I know he hasn't got a purple in rotation, so I just want to kind of tear through any sort of interruption he has. I'm not bothered, and luckily enough, he had a droplet and a succession now. I can kind of see why he used it there, but in my opinion, I actually think that wasn't amazing, because, I mean, he spent a lot of resources to get rid of a golden rod that's literally just going to come back next turn, and then he draws into a nightmare as well, which is absolutely horrible. So he's in a really, really bad position here. Um, he does get, get the babble, which isn't actually horrible, but unfortunately, it does not really matter that much because I'm able to just instantly murder him. Now, he does force me to go first, but now I know I'm against Mech Knights, which is quite nice. My opening hand isn't amazing, though, unfortunately. Yeah, have, drawing both, both the Scrap and the Gear Suit would already be a little bit irritating, but then drawing the Wand as well, I mean, it's not nice because what that essentially does is it means unless I draw some sort of non-normal summon or extender, I have to go into the Barricade Borg player, which I don't like doing it because it opens me up to Nibiru and also because... If the opponent is experienced with this deck, a lot of times they'll know to they can negate the barricade, for example, and then now I'm stuck on a monster and I can't access my engine correctly. But I do kind of put all the cards out. And I get really confused here because obviously he was playing Mech Knight um, August, and then suddenly he starts spamming dangers. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Like, what? Why has he suddenly got so many dangers? So, um, yeah, he starts spamming dangers and starts kind of tearing through the board. Um, he does manage to get through all of my back row really, really easily. But then I think he makes a big, really greedy play here. And as you can see, yeah, he uses Orchestrated Return to get rid of his um, Galatea. Now, it, it, it doesn't matter too much, obviously, because he's still building up. But I just don't think it was that worth it um, to draw into more Danger Zang. I don't know, maybe there's something else he was digging his deck for. But it just doesn't end up going into anything. And he just puts on um, some Orcus cards. And I just go for the full material Zeus here. I mean, it, if I can ever get multiple Zeus's... That, that's 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 my only option oh actually yes so i misplayed here actually yeah, yeah. so i wanted to go for the four material zeus but i actually misplayed um curse old land does limit me from doing that i could have actually got rid of it before i attacked but i forgot to do that so i just end on double galatea instead um but i mean again it doesn't matter too much i feel like his first turn he did waste a lot of resources which put him back but luckily enough um he is able to kind of link climb a little bit and and get around my board which is good for him but I mean, typical, typical orchestra shenanigans. I mean, I get to 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 just access my engine again next turn, and that was the strength that I was really saying about this deck. I feel like the strength of this deck being able to put the same board up every single turn. It's just so huge. It's so hard to deal with for so many decks. And so, yeah, now my goal now is just to keep putting monsters on the board, keep looping my symbols, and I know it's going to be hard for him to really play the game. Then I use Swakero to get rid of his symbol because I know that. He hasn't got that much either. So yeah, get rid of his symbol. Look at his graveyard. It's completely screwed. All of his awful stuff is banished. And he draws an Ibiru for turn, which he knows is going to be useless. So he ends up scooping. So yeah, really good game. Definitely made me um, happy that I picked Eldritch Orcus. But anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.